Good afternoon. I'm going to say welcome again to those of you who are here today. Um, I'm Rick Sarge. I'm the president of Boma Columbus um, with the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. Um, and so we're here for a very special guest speaker today. I want to mention that Boma Columbus um, is a proud partner with the City of Columbus and Mayor Coleman um, to promote the Columbus Energy Challenge. Um, we applaud Mayor Coleman's efforts to include the commercial real estate industry in the energy reduction discussions. Um, and we welcome uh, Mayor Coleman today um, for some remarks. So I'm going to invite Mayor Coleman to the podium. Thank you very much. And uh, lunch was great. And. Uh, uh, I work for food, <laughs> and when I heard there's opportunity to eat, I thought I would participate. Uh, so it's great to be back at uh, this facility. I've come here often over the years, and it's good to be here with BOMA. Uh, thank you, Rick, and thank you, Building Owners and Managers Association, BOMA, for your partnership. And uh, first, before I make just a few brief remarks. I want to th say thank you to all of you for all that you do every day for our community. You know, BOMA uh, is a, a group that I respect greatly. Keeping our buildings up and going and operating well, managed well, we have great building owners and managers uh, in our city, and I'm very proud of them uh, all over through, throughout our city. So we're gathered here today to really announce and, uh, this new effort, this new idea that uh, we want to promote in our city to make it work and to launch this new program, a program to help building owners and managers reduce energy use and save money. How about that? Save money. You guys like that, right? Yeah. So it's called the Columbus Energy Challenge. Buildings use a lot of energy, as you know. In fact, in 2012, commercial buildings in Columbus used approximately 4.4 billion kilowatt hours of electricity. Uh, and uh, that's expending some $316 million on energy costs. That's an incredible amount. But just imagine if we could reduce uh, energy usage by 20% in the city of Columbus. And by reducing usage by 20%, that would save $60 million annually and reduce greenhouse gas emissions in Columbus by over 720,000 metric tons. Now, what does all that mean? You know, what does 720,000 metric tons mean to us in real terms? Let me break it down for you. It's equivalent to removing 150,000 cars from the roads. It's equivalent to powering some 65,000 homes every year in our city. So it means a lot if you put it in context of that. Now, today there are over 20 cities throughout the country that either have or are in the process of developing mandatory energy benchmarking and disclosure ordinances. Well, what does that mean? That means there are cities around the country that are passing ordinances, laws, that will mandate energy savings among commercial builders and managers in the city. Uh, and it's required by law. If you break the law, you know what happens. It's not a good thing for you or your uh, uh, owners. Uh, but we decided to go a different way in Columbus. I want to try this because I've been so successful in organizing and developing uh, public-private partnerships in the city that have worked consistently in our community. We want to try to see what a good public-private partnership that is a voluntary effort as opposed to a mandatory effort and I believe by working together we can accomplish the same goals in the same ways 
by saying we're going to stack hands and make it happen in our community. And that's what we're here today, today to do in the Columbus Energy Challenge. So late in uh, 2013, we formed the Building Energy Efficiency Task Force. I know there's some folks here that are part of it. Uh, if you are part of it, raise your hands. Well, great. Uh, let's stand up. Let me look at you. <laughs> All right. I appreciate it very, very much. Now, I'm going to go around the room. I want you to introduce yourself to me. I know these folks at this table. You'll be first. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Michael Chow with Metro CD Engineering. I'm Molly Leach with NAI Ohio Equities, and I'm a property manager. I'm Tyler Steele with Heinz. Hello, I'm Warren Hubbard with Columbus City Schools. Uh, David Ward with the Payment Group. Sarah Mead, Holland Associates. Sherry Hubbard, AEP Ohio. Sarah Ward, Ohio Air Big Power and Light. Jack Wagley, Columbia Gas of Ohio. Sarah Poe, Columbia Gas of Ohio. Greg Raffio, Go Sustainable Energy. Uh, Steve Kismar from the Midwest Energy Efficiency Alliance. Great. I appreciate your work on this task force and, and you've helped put this thing together. And we've got to keep it rolling uh, throughout our community. This is a voluntary program that would reduce energy use from existing commercial and industrial buildings in our city. Now, let's put that in context. You know, what does that mean? Well, our target are those buildings that are 50,000 square feet or more. Uh, although we want everybody to be a part of it, everybody to be a part of it. But just what is, how many buildings are there, 50,000 or more? Almost 1,000 buildings in the city of Columbus alone, which represents 50 million square feet of building space in our city. Uh, just looking at those alone, this could have an enormous, impactful uh, result that we're very, very excited about. So I want to thank you for your service, for putting this together. Columbus Energy Challenge is free <laughs> and it's voluntary. And what's better than free and voluntary? But it will achieve energy efficiency easy from start to finish. It's a clearinghouse to serve your energy needs. So each participating building, and I want every single building owner and manager to participate and engage in this. You have to participate. You have to engage. Because when you're voluntary, you don't have to become mandatory. Right? So let's stay voluntary so we don't have to become mandatory. Uh, and, and that's important. I want to make that note. Because uh, I think we can do it without becoming mandatory. And it's going to be up to you, it's going to be up to you to make sure this happens and on a voluntary basis. So each participating building owner or manager is instructed on how to register and benchmark their buildings using US EPA's Energy Star Portfolio Manager. They're provided with information, training opportunities, and a tool to auto-upload utility data. Participants will also be directed to utility rebates and other resources to help reduce energy usage and save money. Both AEP, who was here today, who was, I saw somebody, AEP right here, I see you, AEP, thank you very much. And Columbia Gas, I saw right over here, right? Columbia Gas are partners with us in this program. So they're going to uh, help us and help you uh, reduce uh, some of their energy use. And energy challenge participants who document 20% or more reduction in energy usage within 18 months will be recognized for their achievement. And, uh, and, and it's going to be important, important to our city, to our citizens, to you, uh, that we can do this without mandatory uh, requirements. So I hope this program will be embraced by the real estate industry, uh, and I believe it will be. I haven't had a public-private partnership that hasn't worked, and I believe this will be a public-private partnership that will work. 
But no public-private partnership, no voluntary effort works unless you put forth the effort and make a commitment to do it. So I need you to make a commitment. And building managers, so I can see if I, I do this in church, when we collect money, pass the hat. You know, we say, uh, who's going to participate uh, today? And I'd like to know, just by a raise of hands, of those who will engage in this energy challenge. If you support it or you will engage in it, let me see your hands now. Okay, that's many of you. And those who need more information on it, let me see your hands. And those who are not going to participate, <laughs> you may leave now. <laughs> Thank you very much. God bless you. Now, I want to introduce uh, Councilmember Michelle Mills. Um, she is a magnificent lady, a visionary, and really one of the most incredible projects I've seen in my 15 years as mayor, my over 22 years of elective office and service to this community, is what I saw just last week at St. Stephen's Community House, and that's Aquastar. I can't explain it, <laughs> but you have to see it to believe it. And it involves uh, uh, raising fish, and raising uh, food and plantings and in an urban garden that involves uh, providing food, education, and savings, energy savings in a neighborhood all at one time. And education is a wonderful thing. Uh, and she's been explaining this to me for about a year and I kind of, okay, yeah. <laughs> but after seeing it, I've become an incredible fan of this great work. And I invite you to go by St. Stephen's Community House and see one of the, I think, one of the best projects I've seen in a very, very long time. Councilmember Mills. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a little shorter. <laughs> Good afternoon. Um, thank you, Mayor Coleman. I am very excited about Project Aquastar. And, it says that what we're asking you to engage in is something that I'm not just talking about, that I'm doing as well. And so whether you're operating a greenhouse or a skyscraper, I think we all have an ability to have an impact on energy savings. And I think, um, as the mayor talked about, partnership is the way to go. Um, when Erin and her team talked to me about the challenge and we talked about mandatory and voluntary, and I asked the question, will you think, knowing that, that that would engage and increase participation. And I think that's what you heard from our great mayor today, that it is going to require the participation. As a legislative body for the city, we don't like to move ordinances that we don't have to when they can work, as the mayor talked about. In this city, we've had great success with that. But it is because we've done that with partners like BOMA that make all of that possible, that encourages the participation, talks about it, educates, and continues to encourage folks to participate in a challenge that could really make a difference for the city. It's not just an environmental difference that you'll be able to make. We think energy savings is another benefit. And so that those economic gains, we think, can create jobs. So as a chair of the Environment Committee and also the chair of development, that all makes music to my ears. Uh, knowing that the savings can turn into jobs, which helps move our city. There are times when mandatory things are necessary. Um, just talking about safe streets, mandating safe distance of passing bicyclists, that's a necessity to keeping our citizens safe. But I think we can reach our goal in the next five years in decreasing energy usage and creating savings by doing that together. <clears throat> And so if you have not raised your hand for the challenge, I hope to see all the hands raised. If we gather in the same space next year, all the hands are up and people are standing up, shouting at, waiting for the chance to talk about the energy savings that they've achieved and the outcomes of this challenge. I see it coming. I can always picture people already standing up, jumping. I say this, I say that. That's the kind of room I'd like to see next year because I think we can do it. And again, it's whether you're operating a, a tiny greenhouse or a skyscraper, we all can make a difference. I know that um, we all want to make a difference in our city, and I know that giving an opportunity to do that, it can happen. I'm confident that the participation in this room will lead the way. You've heard about it, the challenge is out there. You've been given the information, and I know Erin and her team is working feverishly to make sure that there's high participation, and we're looking forward to the savings in the next uh, five years. I certainly hope to see 70% of the large buildings participate. 70%. 
70 percent yeah there you go mayor that's right 70 <laughs> percent and that's a c everybody and we're an a kind of city are we not an a kind of city yeah. we're an a kind of city a, c, a 70 is a c we want an a a plus so help us uh, talk about the eight kind of city that we all live in. And I think it is incumbent on all of us to leave the world and our city better than we found it and continue to make changes. And so the environment is very key to that. I know, as the mayor talked about in the Project Aquastar, we're starting with young so that our work and the importance of environment has turned the tide so that our 10-year-old in 20 years knows the importance of the environment and we no longer have to continue to drive this because it's just a natural part of our culture in our city. That we will lead the nation in changes in caring about our environment. And I know you all can join me in doing that and I know that you'll continue to participate in not only this challenge but in other efforts continuing with Green Spot initiatives, you engage in glass recycling, all of those other efforts that I know you all would like to be a part of and I'm sure Aaron will educate your offices and share with you many ways that you can continue to be green friendly um, on behalf of our city and on behalf of our young people who we will be leaving this city to. So thank you all for your participation in advance and I'm going to clap my hands now for and hold it in in the bank for the future applause of the reaching the 90 percent of participation. So let's clap now. That's the one for today. Now we'll clap for tomorrow, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Molly, I never get this right. I now turn the microphone over to Molly. Thank you very much, Mayor Coleman and City Council Member Mills, for your partnership and for your support of Boma Columbus and the Columbus Energy Challenge. Big thanks to Erin Miller. She's a rock star. She works for the city of Columbus. Yeah. The Green Queen, as she's been called. And thanks to all the task force members. Uh, if you don't know, the task force met probably six or seven times, two hours apiece. And we argued and we fought and we had a good time and we agreed and we, we came up with some solutions that I think will work for both the business community and for the city government. And um, I think together we're going to make some serious progress here. Um, <clears throat> we hope this is a successful, long-standing relationship between BOMA and the City of Columbus. Um, to all property managers, and also, I don't want to leave out the vendors in the room. Vendors, if your owner of your company owns a building, let's say it's an industrial building or whatever, you can participate too. You don't have to be a property manager. Just as long as you have a building that you can benchmark, please do participate. Um, I want to ask a couple of questions of everyone in the room that is a property manager. How many of you buy energy on the retail market and have seen your electricity rates increase from five cents per kilowatt hour to eight cents per kilowatt hour this year? I know I have. It's a struggle. Um, how many of you felt a little sick to your stomach? when you received your snow removal and utility bills this winter. <laughs> yes. For those of us who write checks for between $10,000 and a million dollars per month, per building, for our utility bills, we feel it. We know what that means. Um, it can be very disconcerting when it's 30 degrees in April um, because our budgets can be essentially ruined by utility costs. Um, although we can't always predict when the energy rates in the retail market will go up, or we can't always predict sub-zero temperature days, we can attempt to reduce our energy usage by thinking about how we use energy, which will have an effect on our operating expenses. What we're asking today is that you simply type in the URL on the flyer you see in front of you Everyone grab the flyer that was either on your chair or on your table. You'll see a URL there, www.columbus.gov slash energy challenge. You're going to go to that website, fill out 30 seconds worth of information, hit submit, and then you're going to go to the Energy Star website and fill out your information on Portfolio Manager. 
This is a voluntary program and you are encouraged but not required to disclose your energy usage based on building address. So obviously we would love the building addresses to be disclosed, but if your building owner doesn't feel comfortable doing that, that's okay as long as we get the energy information because we need to establish a benchmark as a city as far as what our baseline looks like as far as energy usage goes. Um, we're not asking you to do something complicated like calculating paybacks on a new air handler or uh, variable frequency drives, et cetera. All you have to do is simply enter the information on your utility bills. Um, if you don't have time, Rob Schneider, uh, Rob Beckwith from Schneider Electric can actually, he's offered to fill that information out for you. So if you need his contact information, he's not here today, but grab my card on, on, on your way out and I'll get you in touch with him. Uh, in turn, the City of Columbus will receive general aggregated data for disclosed and non-disclosed buildings so the city can establish an energy usage benchmark. Um, if we don't have the baseline usage information, it's very difficult to make decisions that will impact our energy use as a city. Many cities across the nation are mandating this change in contrast, the Columbus Energy Challenge is a voluntary program, and the only way we can be successful is if, in fact, our BOMA members and affiliates sign up using the link on the flyer you received today. If you'd like to participate, if you have any questions, please see me afterwards or any of the task force members at these front two tables will be glad to help. And uh, with your efforts, we hope that Columbus Energy uh, Challenge is among the most successful energy benchmarking programs in the nation, and I think it will be. And if we do get to that 70% goal, I'm going to do a silly dance that all of you know me very well for. <laughs> okay, thanks. This is uh, Tyler Steele from Heinz. That's really great. Um, I am a BOMA member. I'm also one of the founders of the... Thanks. Okay. Uh, I'm a BOMA member and I'm also a, uh, one of the founders of the U.S. Green Building Council Central Ohio Chapter. And, and as a member of the task force, I'm really highly encouraged to see the, the leadership that's coming out of our city right now. And um, the, the U.S. Green Building Council Central Ohio Chapter is proud to be part of this important and game-changing initiative. Thank you to all the task force participants. We've seen everybody stand up. This is, it was a, a kind of a spirited effort. Um, and we did have some disagreements, but ultimately I think we've come up with a great initiative here. The U.S. Green Building Council is a widespread collection of professionals spanning many industries, architects, developers, accountants, lawyers, CEOs, CFOs. And um, we're all leaders, and honestly, we're, we're kind of troublemakers. And yes, this excited, you know, we're excited for this initiative because we're not whacked out tree huggers and we're not into green and it's not just about you know whatever cool is about sustainability at the moment in fact I'm not even wearing hemp if you can believe it I'm no hemp today you know the, the reality is that the truth is that, that greener buildings are more sustainable yes but they're also higher performance and ultimately we're talking about higher performance here higher performance buildings use less energy are generally better managed and are ultimately healthier for the humans who occupy them. Commercial buildings use 30% of all the energy in the United States, or I'm sorry, use of all energy, and 65% of the total electrical energy in this, in this country right now. As commercial building professionals, we have a tremendous opportunity and maybe even a responsibility to save, save this precious energy and money through greater efficiency and reduced consumption. So let's step up to the challenge. The city's put it out there. Let's step up to it. Let's learn more about our usage. Let's look for ways to save. And let's find and add value to our building owners, to our tenants, and certainly to our bottom lines. Efficiency and sustainability may not be the most foremost thought on, on a, an investor or a, a business owner's mind, but you can bet that enhancing the bottom line and saving money will get their attention. The Columbus Energy Challenge is about encouraging a higher performance building stock. Higher performance buildings are tied to higher performance businesses, and higher performance businesses are tied to higher performance communities. Thank you to Mayor Coleman and his staff, and again, Erin, she is a rock star, the Green Queen is awesome, and, um, and their le leadership really is significant. This is, a, this is a big deal to find a way to do this unmandated, to do this voluntary, and to, for it to not cost us anything. 
Um, the Columbus Energy Challenge is a step toward a more high efficient, high performance city, and a higher performance city is a more healthy, prosperous, and sustainable city. Thank you. I appreciate everyone's uh, being here today. Uh, Mayor Coleman, uh, Councilwoman Mills, and, and Molly and Tyler, thank you very much for your work and the work of the um, Energy Council, the, the task force here. So um, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful rest of your day.